We've talked a little bit about the hive configuration, how the different components fit together. What I'd like to discuss right now is the different sized pieces. So, of course, we've got an 8-frame hive and a 10-frame hive, and I'll elaborate on some of the differences there in just a minute. But what I want to discuss right now are the different heights of the boxes. So, on this hive right here, I've got the three different sized boxes. You've got a deep, which are often used for brood chambers. Typically, they're not used for honey supers, and a honey super is where the bees are storing surplus honey that as a beekeeper you're going to harvest during the season. They're typically not used as honey supers because if they're full of honey, a 10 frame box, a 10 frame deep box full of honey can be close to 80 pounds, which is quite heavy to lift, considering that you have to bend over to, to pick it up. You're not lifting it from a standing position. So you've very heavy box. The medium box, which is this size right here, if it's a used as a honey super, in the range of 50 to 60 pounds full of honey. Still heavy, but quite a bit more manageable than that 80 pound deep box. And finally, we have a shallow. Now, typically, you wouldn't see a hive in this type of configuration with a deep, medium, and a shallow. Typically people use uh, deep solely for their, their brood chambers or mediums, and I'll get to that in a second, and then stack a uniform size honey super on top of them. So at Brushy Mountain Bee Farm, for example, we use eight frame equipment. We use all medium size boxes for our brood chamber, and we also use medium size boxes for our honey supers. Now, if you're stacking up your, your honey supers, many people like to use a queen excluder. Now, this is a metal queen excluder. They come in plastic as well. The queen excluder, as the name implies, excludes the queen. So, for example, if I were using one deep as my brood chamber and I did want to put these honey supers on my hive, I would slip this queen excluder between my brood chamber and my honey supers. That confines the queen to the brood chamber alone or brood chambers so that she can't get up into those honey supers. The advantage of this is that in my honey supers of course then I don't have brood being reared and because I don't have brood being reared they often don't put pollen up there they put the pollen near the larva because they need that to create the food that they're feeding that larva so the result is I end up with pure honey up in my honey supers not the pollen not the larva some people like queen excluders some people despise queen excluders and call them honey excluders personally I like them. I like to have uh, a, a clear idea of where my queen is in this colony and also get a relatively pure product, honey, not with larvae and pollen mixed in. So those are the different height of equipment. Now let's talk briefly about the different widths, the 8 frame versus the 10 frame. I have right here an 8 frame box, which I'll stack on top of this 10 frame hive for a second. Now, of course, this you would never do because of the big gap you've got here that you wouldn't be able to seal. But I do this just so you can see the, the width differences between a 10 frame and an 8 frame box. I mentioned earlier that at the bee farm, we prefer the 8 frame hive. And here's, here's why. One, the narrower size. It's lighter in weight. It's easier to handle. Also, if we look, the handles are closer to my body, therefore the center of gravity is closer to my body, and even if the weights were equal, it would this one would still be easier to handle because that center of gravity is closer to my body. But of course, being more narrow, it's going to be lighter. And if we also think about where bees are building their homes naturally, it's out in the woods, in tree hollows. These tend to be fairly narrow, tall cavities inside these trees more like an 8 frame hive. It tends to be more narrow and grows a little taller than a, a 10 frame hive. In fact, after you've worked bees for a while, you'll notice that the last frames the bees work in a colony are the ones on the very outside. Bees do not like to move laterally. They like to move vertically. And so the 8 frame hive is more conducive to that type of behavior. That's why at the bee farm, our preference 
is a medium, medium boxes for brood chambers as well as medium boxes for our honey supers. It's the winning combination, we think, for weight and versatility.